there's anything we've learned during the pandemic, it's the importance of self-care, work-life balance, and making that all-important me time. Do you ever say that you'll take care of yourself after you finish your to-do list? These 101 stories will show you how to put yourself at the top of that list. Hi, I'm Amy Newmark, and my story is about staying home during the pandemic and treating ourselves to those little luxuries the way we would treat a guest, even though it was just us. Hi, I'm Laquita Starr, and my story is about being intentional about self-care. Life can have us feeling so stressed, anxious, and overwhelmed. But if we would simply make time for prayer, meditation, and stillness, we will see the light at the end of the tunnel. I'm Melissa Face, and my story, my name, opens the collection, Making Me Time. Hi, I'm JC Sullivan with COVID Hair, and my Me Time story is about Shinrin Yoku, which is Japanese for spending time with nature. I'm Diet Corona, the associate publisher for Chicken Soup for the Soul. I have a story in Making Me Time called A Suitcase and an Adventure about my husband and I liquidating our stuff and going on an adventure for six months. I hope you enjoy my story. Whatever your psyche needs is your kind of me time. You'll find your best approach in the pages of Chicken Soup for the Soul, Making Me Time.